so that was a fail. <laughs> Good morning. It's currently it's like 10 30 a.m. I'm about to get ready to leave because I'm going thrifting with my friend Bila. And um, yeah, that's basically the plan for the morning. I woke up kind of overslept a tad. My alarm was set for 7 30 and it was like 8 15 and I opened my eyes and yeah, which is fine, but I had more that I wanted to do before needing to go, but it's so fine. I want to do my makeup, but if I'm gonna be in a mask the whole day, is there really any point? Before I get ready to go, I want to show you this package that I got sent. Hold on. By the time you're watching this, it's September, which means back to school. Whether it's secondary school, university, college, you know, whatever it is, we're all going back to school, you know? It's September. I'm going back to school for the last time, starting my masters. Happy Air have so kindly sent me a box of stuff to help me with my organization. I love organization. Recently I've been getting into like physically writing out stuff instead of using my laptop for a lot of things for my organization. So this couldn't have come at a more perfect time. Um, thank you so much Papia for sending over this stuff and for sponsoring this video. Shout out to them. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out anything from them because I highly recommend. I may or may not have had a tiny glance prior because I was impatient when the box first arrived. Let's Let's start with the notebooks. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm really loving blue, green, sage, pastel vibes at the moment. Even my trousers are that color. So this notebook is perfect. Oh, even my hairband matches. This one is just a standard notebook, but obviously it's all personalized. So you can see it says Tati Papaya on the front. We love to see it. I love personalized things. You know how I am. Um, this one, I'm obsessed with this one. Genius Juice. And it says my name, Tati Kapaya. This is an academic year diary. Love this so much because this isn't just like a normal notebook like that one. Space for your timetable. You can put deadlines in. I just love the attention to detail. And then you've got like a section where you can put in your goals, to-do list for that month, key dates to remember for that month, and also a section for gratitude. I'm just so over the moon with this and at the back I noticed there was some other stuff which I really liked got a finance tracker so obviously being a student it's really important to like keep on top of your budget and stuff like that and then like recipe ideas as well so there's different sections for breakfast lunch dinner so cool how sick is this oh memories of the year it says ask your friends to leave a note too that's so cute. I really want to use this to the fullest. Got some other stuff. We've got a weekly desk planner. I'm so happy with this. It's like one of these pads that you can kind of tear off each sheet and just like keep it on your desk so that you always have your overview of the week. So very handy for me. We've got some of these list notepads. Obviously, as you've seen, I like my lists. Obviously, they're all personalized again. I know some people put these like on the fridge. Like get a magnet, put it on the fridge. You can tick and tear them off as well. Almost tore that one off. I know I'm gonna go through these so quickly because I write lists every single day. Obviously a notebook wouldn't be complete without the pen. So thank you so much for the pen. Um, so yeah, thank you so much Papier again. I'm so excited to start using these. At the time I'm filming this, it's right at the end of August, but by the time you're watching this, it's September. So my plan for the day after I come back from thrifting and stuff is to make my list of goals for September, make a budget because obviously this month has been me moving in and buying loads of stuff. It's not really a true reflection of how much I'm gonna be spending on a monthly basis. So I'm gonna make a proper budget and then um, 
yeah, do my new goals for the month, my weekly goals as well for the upcoming week and just get ready for a really good organized time ahead. So yeah, anyway, as I said, thank you so much Papier for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check them out and get some personalized organizational things, defo, check out the link in the description. But yeah, I'm going to get ready to go right now. It's 10 to 11. I need to ideally leave at 11. So I'm not going to do my makeup fully. I might just do my eyebrows and then be on my way. I found this place on Instagram. It's like one of those places where you can go fill a bag for 10 pounds. So really looking forward to it. I really hope I find some nice stuff. felt like I was queuing up for a BTS concert. Like, I don't know if anyone has ever been to a BTS concert, but you queue for days, basically. So me and Beulah were in the queue for around two hours. And then we were like, you know what? We have not moved much at all. So we were like, let's just go. So we went to the cinema. We walked like 20 minutes to Camden. Um, we saw Snake Eyes with Henry Golding. I thought it was really, really good. I love the fact that it was set in Japan, based in Japan, filmed in Japan and had like a fully Asian cast. I thought that was so good. So I'm back home now. It's literally 6 p.m. right now. I'm just gonna chill for a bit, have my hot water. Yes, I drink hot water just like this. It's good for digestion, okay? But yeah, movie overall, I'd rate it a solid 7.5, 8 out of 10, something like that. Like really good, highly recommend. I'm getting so, so tired. Wow, yeah, we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> All right, so I got some stuff from Ikea. The first thing, look how beautiful this plant is. I got this basket as well. This is the basket, it's the same one. The plant was like 19 pounds, which is quite cheap for a big plant. So very happy about that. And then the basket was like 13 pounds, so a bit spenny, but you know, I feel like they're very durable and I'll use them for a lot of things, very multi-purpose. So yeah, that's basically what it looks like without the plant in it. So really happy about that, definitely gonna get another plant to put maybe on that corner there or in that corner over there but yeah all right next is this like hold of it's really boring i don't know why i'm doing this but i feel like you guys find it i don't know hopefully someone finds it interesting this is just one of those holders you put on the side of the sink to put like cutlery and then you're like washing up stuff so super boring but really necessary i guess this is like a storage bin um i thought this would be good for like the bathroom to put like toiletries in so if i want to buy a pack of five toothpastes, I can just, you know, put them in here and then I'm sorted for I don't know how many months. Do you get me? So yeah, that's that. I got this jar, really cute jar. You know when you buy a packet of biscuits and you open them, but you don't finish the whole thing? For example, if I open a packet of rich teas, I'll eat two and then there's no space to clamp it because I've only eaten two. So I needed a jar to put that sort of stuff in. This, really cool actually, really happy about this. This is one of those hanging circle things. You can like hang it up and then put accessories. So I'm gonna put like my belts, my, yeah, I don't know, my bandanas, you know, just stuff. I just love organization. A chopping board. I got this candle. This is the Sin Lig one. 
It smells so, so, so good. It's like raspberry and strawberry. Cork coasters because both of the tables are obviously glass. Um, this pot you can like stick up on the wall and I thought this would be cool for the bathroom. Then I could put my toothbrushes in there. I got some new cutlery. I got this glass bottle. I just thought this could be cute for like making like lemon water. Just like something reusable or like, I don't know, but it just looks cute, okay? So I don't have a use for it right now, but I will find one. I've got some of these clip things to be, you know, clipping food together and stuff like that, like when you open a packet of something. I've got some frames because obviously I need my wall decor. Really excited to decorate. You guys thought I forgot about Baitat Kapaya, about my print company. I haven't forgotten. I will be making some new prints, so stay tuned for that. Just took a little summer hiatus, do you know what I mean? I also got this little pouch thing that I can hang on the bar in the kitchen and just put some more utensils. I just thought it was cute to be honest, it's beige as well, so it just matched my vibe. I got some storage, got a mirror for like one pound. So yeah, really happy about that. Cause I also broke my other mirror. I actually got quite a bit, to be fair. I also got this shoe rack, just for some organization. So I can put some shoes under, put some shoes on top, just to have my shoe area really organized. And last, oh, but definitely not least, this is very heavy. You can't really see it, but it's kind of like a chest of drawers, but like really small. And I'm thinking of putting it under my table or maybe on the table, depending on how it looks but that's basically going to be the storage bit for my desk area so that I can keep it nice and tidy. But yeah, that's basically it for my Ikea stuff. So excited to set all of this up. Definitely going to do it very soon. But yeah, we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> It's Monday afternoon, it's like 1.20. I wanna leave the house in the next 10 minutes to go to this gallery that I booked very last minute. But yeah, I went to Asda this morning. I did a click and collect order because I wanted to get like a bunch of bulk things and I just wanted to see whether it was easier, cheaper, you know, I'm just trying to find the best way to do my food shop. Lidl works, but then I have to pay three pounds for parking and then Aldi, there's no like guarantee of parking. Asda is a tiny bit further, but then I can click and collect, but then there's like a minimum order, otherwise you get charged another three pounds. So it's just, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's basically what I did this morning. Came back home, I've just been at my laptop ever since, I had breakfast and stuff. And it was kind of a stressful morning, not gonna lie. Very stressful morning indeed. I kind of wanted to go to a gallery or like go on a walk anyway. I was looking around my area of like things to do and um, I found this place called the Museum of Brands. So what I assume it's gonna be like old packaging and like the history of the brand and like what the first packaging looks like and that sort of stuff. I think it would be really sick to be fair. And apparently it's like a must see place in Notting Hill. So I'm looking forward to it. But um, yeah, so that's my plan. I'm gonna leave in the next like 10 minutes. I made a booking for like 1.45. So I'm just gonna walk there, but should be fun. And then hopefully when I get back, I can have just a more, you know, more positive day because I have been very stressed. Oh, and also I got another Ikea package. So I'll quickly show you that before I end the video, but for now, let's go to the gallery. A quick OTD, I'm wearing this shirt, which I thrifted, sweatshirt underneath, and then just these black flares and these pink shoes. But yeah, I don't look great in terms of my face, but you know what? We're embracing the natural beauty today. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>
so cool. Such a cool museum. I was in there for like an hour and a half and the time flew by. It was seven pounds for one ticket because I'm a student. If it's just like a normal adult one, it's nine pounds. But honestly, it's so worth it. It was so cool seeing how all the brands have like changed over time, all the retro packaging, what was current, what was like going on. At the end, there was like one for 2012 and it was just like One Direction. And like the Olympics is so mad, but really, really cool. Um, I'm almost home, so we'll catch up in a bit. Do my little IKEA unboxing. <laughs> Definitely gonna be the place for it over here. I've got some stickers on the wall, and if you can see, some tape to mark out where my prints are gonna go. So it's all coming together, and then there will be a plant here as well, ideally. So we're getting there. So happy with how this space is coming along. I feel like it's gonna look so good once everything is like perfectly done. It's like 3:30, which is perfect because that is the time that I wanted to be home to continue with the rest of my tasks on my to-do list. So yeah, the rest of the day, I'm literally just gonna be. I'm gonna be at my desk. Yeah, I'm gonna be on my desk the rest of the day. So I'm just gonna end this vlog here, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And also before I go, thank you so much to Papier again for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna check out any of the products, definitely make sure you click the link in the description. I'm obsessed with all of their things. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos. All my social media links will be in the description below also, so feel free to follow me. But yeah, I hope everyone has a great week ahead. I'm gonna go now, I'll see you next time. So bye. <laughs>